Good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 in the morning on August 29th, 2019. And uh, we are going to talk about Adirvana. Adirvana, the program for both Mac and Windows. I'm not quite sure it's available for Linux. I, I don't think it is. And uh, some struggles that people have been having lately installing the program on Windows. So when we talk about... Um, Adirvana. We're, we're, what we're talking about is a piece of software that can play FLAC and DSD and higher resolution audio files. And on top of that, keep a catalog of your music. Some people might ask, why not just use iTunes? Well, iTunes, iTunes really can't play DSD files. It, it can play FLAC files. It can play AAC files. It can play other typical file formats, but there are unique file formats, there are lesser known file formats that iTunes is simply not capable of playing. That's number one. But let's say you don't really care about that. The other issue with iTunes is that it's simply not good at anything. There was a speech once that jo Steve Jobs gave, and he was talking about the MacBook Air. This was the first time that he, he unveiled the MacBook Air. And he was talking about how the industry had created the netbook. And he ended up saying, netbooks aren't good at anything. And that's what I mean when I say iTunes is not good at anything. It is a jack of all trades and a master of none. And in fact, it falls short on everyone. Hey, I rhymed. How do you think? That was, by the way, that was on the fly at 5.30 in the morning. So give me kudos, huh? How about that? Huh. Here's the thing. Adirvana will not install on Windows, but I found a technique to make it work. And here it is. Ready? Let's go. Oh, wait. That's my YouTube page. So here's what happens with Adirvana. When you try to install it, it says an error occurred while installing system components for Adirvana Plus. Setup cannot continue until all system components have been successfully installed. And then all you get is two options. You get details. So you get a slight detail of what happened. And then you get closed. There's no install option. There's no continue option. There's no option to bypass this and just get to the installation screen. It simply will not allow you to go forward. And people on forums on Adirvana's website have complained about this for, for several weeks without an answer. Well, last several days, about a week and a half ago, I think, somebody uploaded kind of a fix. And I tried it and it didn't work. But here, here's what they recommended. They recommended this. This is from Jodeus. J O D A E A O S. Oof, that's good. This was 16 days ago. And he says, he or she says, quote, Adirvana needs two runtime libraries, C and .NET Framework. This is again for Windows. .NET Framework were installed already in, on my PC because I have been using famous paint.net app. So anyway, he is explaining why he already has that framework and stuff. But you need to install the C++ and .NET frameworks. You should Google that. Go to Microsoft's uh, website and only download that stuff from Microsoft's website because it's supported through Microsoft and prevents you from getting viruses and malware and things like that. But once you download C++ and .NET Framework, install it on your computer. Your computer might say, hey, I already have both of these things. Great, no problem. But if it installs without any prompt of that nature saying, I already have this, thank you very much, then good. Now you actually have installed the two components that Adirvana needs. However, you might still get this dialog box, which is what happened to me. I went back and installed these two uh, components and I still got this message and I racked my brain for days and days and I did as much Google search as I possibly could to try to fix this problem and it turns out there is in fact a fix I'll tell you what I did initially so initially I un I, I installed or I unlocked is that actually I unlocked the hidden administration account that sounds so you know august the hidden administrator account. It wasn't all that august. You just put in some sort of command in the command prompt and it unlocks the administrative controls on your account if, if you're the primary account. And you got to log in with that administrative con control option and then try to install it. So I tried to do, do it that way and I still got this box. So I had 
uploaded the C++ or installed the C++. I had installed the .NET framework. I had Windows updated. I had logged in as an administrator and then tried to install it, and it still would give me this problem. And then I found the fix. Here's the fix. Trust Prompt Tool. Now, this is a free download that you can get, and I'll link it to uh, the, the description below. But it's, it's distributed by Smart Lux Sorrel. Uh, this is just a, a programmer, I, I believe. And he or she talks about how when you download this small program, you run it, and what it will do is it will go into the registry and tell Windows, look, I, I want you to allow the user to decide what to do with this this trust prompt, because that's what this is. This is essentially a trust prompt, and Windows will not allow you to move forward. If you recall, with Windows, I think it was 8 and forward, especially with Windows 10 now, Windows Microsoft has made it very difficult for users to continue installing programs that Windows itself does not recognize. And unless you know how to go into the registry or unless you know how to bypass it using command prompt, you may not be able to do it, and that may cause frustration. So this individual here has created this very small uh, program you install it, go step by step. It describes exactly what you should do. One of the cleanest, clearest descriptions, manuals I've ever seen. And all you got to do is, once you, do, you download it, just go through and decide either you want the My Computer, Local Internet, Trust Sites, Internet, or Untrusted Sites. You want to enable or disable the uh, Trust Prompt tool. And then you want to write to re registry. Don't worry if you don't see it on the screen. If you go to this website, it has clear description of what to do. I just clicked on all of these things just to be double sure, and I hit right to registry. Then I installed Otervana, and it worked. Okay, so this is the way to do Otervana installation if you're having some difficulty. I hope this has been of some help, and if you have any questions about Otervana, Look, I'm not an expert. Uh, my free pass expired because Adirvana wouldn't install until like the last day uh, when I was able to fix this issue. But I have used it on my Mac, and I think that it is, in fact, a great program. Uh, I would highly recommend it as an alternative to FUBAR, but FUBAR is free, whereas Adirvana, I think, is about $70. Um, one is easier than the other, which is Adirvana is easier than FUBAR. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Thank you so much for participating. And thank you to all my patrons. I gained at least one more patron yesterday, and, and I truly appreciate all of my patrons' hard-earned money and, and their trust, more importantly. Thank you so much for, for having that trust in me and giving me the opportunity to earn your money every month. Thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, I consider that you maybe want to subscribe if you want to keep getting notifications about my new content. And those of you who have any questions or concerns or issues, please leave those in the comment section below. I try to address everyone as quickly as I can. For those who are seeking a review, please look into the description section below. There's a link to a review request form, and that's going to walk you through the steps of asking for a review. I'm currently backlogged, and I'm making my way through the reviews as quickly as I can. And I assure you, I will get to yours as long as I have the equipment to review. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday and a pleasant end to your work week. Take care.